Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how we can quickly convert a large collection of images from one file format to another. As you can see, these original images have all been labeled appropriately, and they have a combination of file names between PNG files and JPG files. Although I will keep the PNG files, which are very high quality files, on the hard drive that I'm going to store in the laboratory, I would like to post similar images on the web, and I want to quickly convert all of the PNG files to JPEG files, and I can do this easily using ImageJ. First, I will open ImageJ, and I can go to Plugins, Scott Bar, and Common Tools. Now there's a Save All button right here, but by default it's set to save everything as a TIFF file. I will open up the folder which contains ImageJ. Here's ImageJ. I'm going to go into the Macros folder, and I happen to know that the Save All macro is one that I wrote that's here. Um, actually, Save All. It's actually under Plugins. Scott Save All. So I can open this, and this is the small script. It's set to save as TIFF. I can make it JPEG, JPEG. Add JPEG at the end of the file. Click Save. And I can select all with Control A. And I will drag and drop them into ImageJ. And this will open all of the images one by one. Okay. Now that they're all open, now they're all open. I can go to the Scott bar and click on Save All, and it will save all of them one by one as a JPEG file, no matter if they're originally JPEGs or, app or, or PNG files. So it said it saves it to C temp. So. Um, they're the most recent files, so here they are. These are the collection of JPEGs. I'll cut them, make a new folder here. paste them, and here we go. Our file sizes are a lot smaller. They're in the 50 or 60 kilobyte range, whereas before they were in the 4 and 500 kilobyte range. And the quality is still there. Now there are a large collection of scripts in that macros folder. Most of them you can view by going to plugins and Scott. You can see I, I, I wrote a lot of small scripts to do various things over the months that I worked here. So you can take a look and also learn how to write your own, and it can be very helpful.